Welcome back everybody. We're gonna be doing a field review here on this shotgun. This is the Dickinson shotgun. It's the Commando. That's what they call it. This one here has the marine finish. 12 gauge shotgun capacity with two and three quarter inch shells anyway is going to be five in the tube, one in the pipe. And uh, that's how we have it loaded right now. My plan is, if everything works, correctly uh, is to just put about two 300 rounds through it over the next day or two out here and uh, kind of see how it works and what I think of it overall. Now the reason I'm actually taking a look at this is this has been on sale at Sportsman's Guide for under $150 lately and um, there's an old saying that I'd rather have a $200 shotgun than a $1,000 pistol in a gunfight. Um, generally speaking, I agree with that. However, we're gonna see if this gun is worth anything because if it's inexpensive but it doesn't work, really, is it worth anything? No, right? So it is very loosely uh, based on the 870, but as you'll see in a little bit, most of the parts will not fit. Um, so that's kind of a downside of it. But again, it's really inexpensive and uh, has a pretty decent looking finish at least. So we'll throw some uh, birdshot through it right now. And then after that, we'll load some buckshot up and kind of see how it feels. Now, one thing I'll tell you, uh, I've never shot it, so you're gonna about to see my first shots, but it is freaky light, uh, which is great, you know, if you're in the field. Uh, it's generally not great if you're shooting buckshot or slugs, um, but we'll see uh, how she shoots here. Uh, safety is a cross bolt safety, very similar to an 870. So we'll see how she does. All right. I'll tell you, uh, you definitely feel the recoil a little bit there more than you typically would with bird shot. So we have some uh, buck shot here, Remington stuff. I'll load that up here real quick. Tell you what, another thing you notice about the gun, it's about 105, 106 out here today and pretty darn humid, hence the sweat. Um, this gun gets hot, so these black parts, they heat up fast now. I would imagine for most folks, that's not really a huge deal, but something to point out there. So, all right, so we got loaded up now with some buckshot. Again, it is Remington, double out buck, full power stuff. Targets down range at 15 yards and then uh, 13 yards off to the right. I'm guessing with this 18 and a half inch barrel, we're gonna knock these targets over. So we might not get through all of them or we might just have to shoot at the uh, mound down there. Either way, we shall see. As predicted, we knocked one of them over. Now you guys saw there, we had a little bit of a hang up on one of the shells. I'm not sure if that's an ammo issue or if it is a uh, gun issue. That said, when I really kind of pulled it real hard, which really you should be doing anyway, that may be an operator error as well. It, it did eject just fine. We're gonna set the targets up and just run a bunch of rounds through it and uh, see what we think. Just had an interesting issue. Uh, I was basically loading the buckshot in. I didn't push it forward. Again, operator error, 100%. I didn't seat it up into the mag tube. But what I found is, as you guys can see there, hopefully, the shell's sitting on the uh, lifter and it won't let me bring it back up so that way the round will feed. Now, I'm gonna see if I can manually clear it. Huh, looks like I can. Yep, there you go. So you can do it, just note that. Uh, basically, it wasn't far enough back on the carrier to be able to go up, or the lifter rather, to be able to go up. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you shove those things in the mag tube. Now we'll finish loading it, I guess. Interesting there. So what just happened was, uh, again, same thing. Uh, this hasn't happened yet with the bird shot. So I'm wondering if it has something to do with this load. Um, but I went to 
actually push it in it, it sat into the magazine it was seated if you will and then it popped back out so you guys can probably see that right there there's the round now i'm guessing as far back as it is it'll actually work just fine uh, simply because it'll be able to feed into the chamber so we'll see right now guys we've got about 60 rounds through it and uh just putting a little more buckshot through it just to uh inflict harm on my shoulder <laughs> So we'll see how it likes it, and we'll see if that does cause an issue or not. All right. All right. Next round fed. I'm thinking it might be something to do with this load. I don't know if I have another buckshot load. I will check in my car, though. Um, Remington, as we all know, over the last few years has not been the best. Um, but we'll see. We'll try some different buckshot loads. Either way, let's finish the mag tube out. Hmm. Anyway, you guys have seen the only issues we've had so far. So either way, I'm going to see if I can find some other buckshot and uh, continue on. Just so everybody's on the same page, this is what we're using. That was the buckshot from Remington, uh, double hot stuff, nine pellet. And now I dug through my range bag and I did find these. These are the extreme buckshot from Freedom Munitions. Uh, this stuff's pretty darn hot, um, so that'll be fun. Um, but I've not had issues with it at all. And I've shot this in a ton of different guns. So we'll see how this one likes that and uh, see if it's just an issue with the actual Remington ammo. Which at this point I suspect it is, but we'll see. That barrel's pretty hot, but we got six rounds in. And uh, as you can see, it actually stayed in there in the tube. So unlike the Remington that popped out last time, so it's a good sign already. Let's do it. Hmm. Didn't like that one either. Well, that was even weirder. All right, so hopefully that's showing up there on camera. We definitely had a light strike there on that round. We'll feed it back in there. It'll be the second round I fire now. Safety. Fired that time, but once again, same thing there, guys. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. Light primer strike. Not good. All right, see if we can finish these out. Probably the same thing. Same thing guys, hopefully that focuses. But yeah, white primer strike on that one. Let's try it the second time. All right, so not good with buckshot. That's not good. We're gonna load it up here with some more bird shot, see what happens and uh, what is going on with this gun. All right, just so everybody is aware, this is the bird shot load that we are running. If the camera will focus, there you go. So we'll see if we have any of those issues or if it's just kind of a buckshot thing. I have no idea at this point. You guys are learning along with me. Action seems smooth. So, really not sure what the heck's going on. We have a few more of the Remington buckshot left. Let's try that. Feed that in there. That barrel's hot at this point. That thing's burning. But those targets are hot too. <laughs> All right, 
Let's see. Not good. At this point, guys, I'm gonna call it quits for this shotgun and we're gonna be contacting the folks over at Dickinson um, just to have them take a look at it and see if there's a problem. Uh, who knows, the chamber could be rough, the extractor might not have enough tension, the firing pin spring might be messed up. I don't know, but honestly, I don't wanna put any more rounds through it until we get it checked out, so we're gonna leave it there. Um, I've seen reviews of these guns saying that they run really well. I know Late Boy Scout has a review of one. Uh, and several guys on forums so honestly i'm surprised i was really expecting this thing to run well uh, it looks well made again i pulled it apart cleaned it lubricated it before the video took photos that you guys are probably seeing now of it um just unfortunate uh so there will be a part two to this video you can rest assured for that again we're going to send it back to dickinson and i should say that this gun was sent out by the folks over at sportsman's guide so thank you to them for that i appreciate that um they of course allow us to bring you guys content on cool stuff usually it works uh, in this case we're having some issues and again it's going to go back there's going to be a part two but as of right now uh the dickinson uh, commando marine finish not doing so well for me. If you guys have one of these or know somebody who does, let me know basically how it's performed so far down below in the comment section. If you guys have any questions for me, you can always post those down below in the comment section. However, if you need an answer to those questions, the best place to get me is over at my Facebook page. As always, that's where I actually answer the questions that you guys pose to me. And uh, sometimes it takes me a couple days to get to you because I get a lot of messages over there, but I do get to all of them. And um, if you guys aren't seeing three videos a week and you're subscribed here on the channel or more, uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get notified when I put up a video. Even if you hit that bell and you're still not seeing them, head over to uh, mrgunsandgear.com or to my Facebook page under the sign up tab. You can sign up for my email list. I send one email out every week. In fact, it just went out this morning as I'm filming this um, with all the videos that we made that week. So that way you'll definitely get notified and there's no way YouTube or anybody else can censor it. Um, and then I also include a few deals that I find along the way as well for you guys to take advantage of. So that's pretty much it. Unfortunate beginning for this shotgun. Um, Hopefully part two will be awesome after they take a look at it and uh, figure out what the issues are. Either way, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.